And I'm curious in your career, what's the scene you've had to redo the most? Uh, hmm, that's a good, uh, a good question. I think, I think the. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Damien, good to see you again, man. How are you feeling? You do, yeah. I'm uh, good. Dude, good. Seriously, congrats. I'm, I'm obsessed with this movie. So seriously, thank you for uh, for taking the time, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely loved it. Um, I really loved your quote from, I think, a few weeks back where you described this movie as a hate letter to Hollywood, which I just thought was fantastic. But I am genuinely curious, and it's a stupid question, but what do you think the sort of idealistic, dreaming, optimistic characters of La La Land would say about this era of Hollywood in movie making? <laughs> well, uh <clears throat> They would, uh, yeah, they would have to adapt a little bit. I think, um, I think, uh, you know, they would still find something in it. I, I, I would say to kind of complete the sentiment that you're referring to, you know, hate letter to to Hollywood on uh, 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 on some level, but a love letter to to movies or to cinema or to 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 the art form itself. I, th I think it's like you kind of almost have to have both poles um, mutually um in evidence and that was kind of the the guiding principle for this movie was that you know in, almost in every frame if not in every scene you know it, it was going to be um the highest of the highs paired with the lowest of the lows and and you know the most beautiful people paired with the ugliest behavior the most beautiful sort of uh you know extravagant settings paired with the grimiest grittiest kind of dirt under their fingernails sort of sweat blood and tears um viscerality and so uh it, it's uh it was it was yeah, it was important to me to try to capture the full gamut, I guess, the full meal that I think Hollywood, especially in this time, was when there weren't really the rules and regulations that we have today. So there was this kind of Wild West unhinged freedom to it that uh, led to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, great art also led to a lot of wrecked lives and ruined mm -hmm. uh, 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 ruined people. And so, um, yeah, trying to kind of grasp both in one film was was the key. There is a sequence in this film that that may be one of, if not my favorite scenes of the year, uh, in which you best represent this sort of like anxious, like makes me want to claw my face off kind of uh, anxiety, where you represent a take being done over and over and over again. I'm curious in your career, what's the scene you've had to redo the most? Uh, hmm, that's a good, uh, a good question. I think I think the the closest <clears throat> the closest uh, feeling I had to um, just that kind of pulling your hair out. Like uh, we're not able to, we literally feels like you've forgotten how to even walk. You're trying to like relearn right and left was, uh, the first day on, uh, of shooting space stuff in first man. I remember we had, we had, you know, it was kind of similar to the situation in Babylon in a very weird indirect way in that we had shot a bunch of stuff that was not space footage and it was very free and, and you know, kind of outdoors and improvisational, kind of like early silent shooting in, in Babylon. You know, there was a kind of uh, freedom to it where it felt like, shit, we can do anything. And then we get on that sound stage, doors close, we get into these little capsules, and for a whole day, we couldn't get a single shot off. It was a complete... Damn! Oh, run. my God. So I oh think I'm channeling, channeling a little bit of that. But I've had moments like that on every movie. We certainly had a hell of a hell of a lot of moments like that on Babylon. It was definitely the hardest shoot I've ever had to do. Oh my uh, god! So yeah, there's always well, we all have seen days like that. Ho hopefully, well, you, not quite as cataclysmic as it is in Babylon, but you know. <laughs> same I, I talked with uh, I'm I'm not I, I'm I'm social media friends with uh, with PJ Byrne, and he and I have gone back and oh, back and I forth love... about that sequence and just really? how absolutely uh, incredible it is. He, but he, I, yeah. He's genius in that scene, by the way. He is like he. I feel like he perfectly kind of represents what we're all feeling in that moment. He oh, he's yeah. he nails it. Uh, Damien, dude, they're giving me the wrap. I wish I had time for more questions, man. But seriously, I I am obsessed with your work and obsessed with this film, and it and it's never short of an honor every time I get to speak with you, man. It's an honor to get your work to see your work. So thank you for taking the thank time. Thank you so much, Jake. Good to see you, buddy. All right, you too, man. All right, bye, bye, guys. We don't need roads.